All right, quick addition to my last video. This is going to be for the ones using the Samsung T5 SSDs. Um, let's try and figure out if we can get a get balance on the Ronin S. This is, by the way, the Pocket 6K camera. Uh, it's a small rig full cage. This is the small rig mount for the Samsung T5. And here we have a cable clamp. And this is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens with a 3D printed focus ring and a variable ND filter. So let's get started here. I'm also gonna test it with the small, uh, small rig half cage, by the way. But let's try and see if this works. So now we're gonna have to also attach the USB-C cable. You're gonna want to put this the weight of the cable to the right. I don't know if, if it makes a big difference, but still. All right. So that's that. That looks pretty bad already. <laughs> um, I can see that we're here at the max uh, at the limit because of the cage. We can push it more to the front. So, uh, yep. So no need of a lot of testing here. That's not going to work well. Um, so the problem here is again, the camera is really wide. Uh, we can't push it, uh, move it to the, to the right or to the front. And let's say if you have even uh, shorter and less, less heavy lenses like this one, this is the Canon 35 millimeter lens. Um, it's a nice lens, but if you if you're using it on the gimbal like this, this is going to be impossible to to balance. So a uh, heavy lens definitely helps here, as you can see. And it's not I mean it's not totally off. You could you could uh, turn on the Ronin now. Let's try that, and it's going to definitely work. The motors are strong enough for this kind of correction and uh, I mean it's gonna use a bit more battery but you could do it it's just not an, an ideal ideal solution uh, but now I, I, I don't have counterweight so I can't put these here but um, it wouldn't help too much because also we would need more weight on the front here but what, what we can try now is I have this weird Frankenstein construction of a focus motor. Uh, you can watch my first video to see what parts these are and how it's assembled. And we're gonna just attach this now and see if this would help with the balance. Okay, that's it. Now let's just adjust the motor to the right position. Okay, that's it. Now, this already looks better. I mean, you can see we have um, more weight on the front of the camera. So this looks pretty good, actually. It's not a perfect balance. I would have to adjust the uh, tilt axis a bit more, but the, it's here again, the cage is in the way. But apart from that, it's pretty good. The motors could definitely work with that. It's not too much. Now let's move on to the half cage with the, all the same things. I'm just going to disassemble everything. Okay, now we're going to try and see if it works with the half cage. Let's slide in the SSD. Okay, so, okay, first look, not too bad actually. Just need to try, need to adjust the uh, tilt axis. Oh, I would pay so much money for a gimbal that adjusts itself. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, as you can see, it's still not perfect, but I'm sure you can do it. Um, for anyone who is planning to use the T5 SSDs. I would definitely recommend uh, the half cage because the full cage is uh, is not a good solution 
as you could see before for this kind of setup but this works pretty well without any counterweights without anything you could definitely run that easily so but now let's see i mean again if you are using a different lens like this one the 35 millimeter canon lens which is much shorter and much lighter this is not going to work at all um so keep in mind that the weight of the lens and the length of the lens is is a really big factor um i'm just curious to see if this is going to work so let's attach this again By the way, this is really a weird solution. Uh, for now it works, but uh, I mean, if any of this tiny part here, parts here fail, it's gonna fall apart. So if you guys have any other better solutions to mount the motor on top, I would like to see it. Okay. Uh, this feels like we could make it work. Just have to shift it more to left and to the back yep that looks pretty good so this setup definitely works it's not perfect now but you could make it work you have a uh, plenty of space here in between and also you could put it push it more to the front or to the back so this kind of setup works with a half cage with the samsung t5 and the focus motor all right, I think we have now covered, I hope, the most common setups. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I will try to find out if it works. And uh, thanks for watching.